Teresa. Hi. Hey, how are you Hello, doing? Hello, Doc. <laughs> Hello, Doctor. I'm sorry. It's okay. Uh, Go I on. I have a question. Sure. Um, I went to my dentist. Um, are you there? Yeah, I'm right here. I'm just listening. Okay. I, I went to my dentist this past week for a regular cleaning. All right. And as she was examining me, she uh, saw what she thought was either a burn or a lesion that may require a biopsy okay. by an oral surgeon. All right. That my happens. problem is, yeah, my biggest part of the problem is that I gag a lot. Okay. So I am a very bad patient, and I don't know how I, I've been reading on the Internet about biopsies is in the roof of my mouth. Okay. Uh, question. Do you, uh, okay, this is the roof of your mouth, not in the, in the uh, cheek? No, it's not on the cheek. It's in the roof of my mouth, the, up, the upper left-hand corner. Okay. Yeah. You know, Way in the back. A gag yeah, reflex is something that can be blocked. Okay. And you do this using topical uh, anesthetic. When I used to do that kind of stuff, I used to spray something called cetacane in along the roof of the mouth. And you can you can pull somebody's tongue out if you adequately numb it up. Now they don't they don't have to be in there very long to do it. And if you have somebody drive you to the oral surgeon. They can give you a little something either by mouth or through the vein to knock you, you know, to knock you down a few steps. So most of the hyper um, emesis or the, or the gag reflex business is a matter of, of just being a little bit too hyper as an individual. So you numb it up topically and you should do fine. So ask the oral surgeon whether he can pre-op you with a little bit of uh, maybe a little bit of Valium or a little bit of Xanax. To use topical lidocaine. You can gargle with it and that'll settle it down. But cetacaine used to really do the job for this one.